I want to get your opinion about uh, the war in Gaza. How do you feel about what's happening there? There was just a statement from the Pentagon release that they do not consider to be what's happening in Gaza genocide. I strongly disagree. But how do you feel about that? And where do you stand on this particular issue? I'm probably generally in agreement with you. Um, you know, Israel Palestine is a story that I have never liked to comment on uh, for a couple of reasons. Um, I had some bad experiences trying to cover a couple of protests once upon a time that left a bad taste in my mouth. And the other thing is it's a very, very complicated story with a lot of history and I don't know anything about it. Like I would, I would love to just go there and learn uh, more about what's happening rather than opine from a distance like Ukraine. I, know a lot of that stuff i you know i lived in that part of the world for a long time um but you know this is an issue where i just don't like to get in the, I, I find i found throughout my career that no matter what you say um unless you have it 100 nailed down uh you you get in trouble somewhere and i i just don't know enough about it to, to feel like i'm really an authority on it you get in trouble about it with who zionists Anybody. I mean, I, I, I just, I don't feel like just like I have an obligation to talk about things that I haven't covered. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I, there are issues that I spend a lot of time on and comment on a lot because I've covered those issues. I've made phone calls on those issues. Like, I feel like I know what I'm talking about. And with Israel and Palestine, there are elements of that story that make me uncomfortable. And I just, you know, the world, the world can go without my opinion on, on that matter, I think. I, I think I disagree with that, Matt. Um, I think um, genocide is, is a serious, a serious, serious issue. I'll tell you, uh, Glenn, Glenn Greenwald told me one time, he said, uh, no one is an expert at everything. Like he, he had warned me about this. He said, nobody is an expert at anything. I don't care how long you've been doing this. Uh, so, you know, what, what it, it taught me is that if there's an issue that I, I don't know much about, or I don't feel comfortable covering, I reach out to people who are experts on that issue. Um, um, I think it would mean a lot to, especially a lot of people watching to hear, you know, how you feel about what's happening, because a lot of people do see you as a prominent voice uh, in, in independent media and they do value your work. And I don't think that you should have to be afraid uh, of the pushback that you're going to get. Just look at people like Aaron Maté and Max Blumenthal, for example, they get a lot of pushback. Uh, people smear them all the time, uh, but that doesn't stop them from speaking the truth. Right. I just... <laughs> I just can't stress enough. There are things about this story that make me nervous. And I feel like, you know, it's the first rule in, in medicine is do no harm. So if I don't say anything, I'm not doing any harm. Um, you know, my job is to get stuff right and not get stuff wrong. So, you know, I, I, I understand that uh, there are people who would like to hear from me on this issue, but I don't have a whole lot to add on this issue. I'll, I'd be, I'd be regurgitating something that I got from somewhere else. And, you know, I, I, I'm not a news service. I sort of disagree with that whole conception. Like there are two or three things that I spend a lot of time on because I cover them over and over again. I'm constantly talking on the phone with people and this issue just isn't one of them. I know that people feel like that's a, that's ducking, but that's the way it is. Well, you're a parent, Matt, right? Like, so you're a dad. How do you feel about the children? How do you feel about the kids that have been killed in Gaza? I mean, not good, but again, I, 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 I don't want to talk about this whole thing. I really, I just, don't. I mean, um, it's it's not as it's not a news story that I would voluntarily talk about. Uh, let's put it that way. If I went there and and did a story, then that would be different. But uh, right now, it, everybody, I just don't feel like I need to be in the middle of it. There are a lot of people talking about it already. Um, you know, I just don't want to uh, chime in. Okay. Um I, I want to move on to your article about Coleman Hughes.